right guys welcome back to a new video uh first and foremost i want to wish you guys all a happy new year's i want you guys to comment down below any goals that you have for this year in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to design a roblox logo this is going to be somewhat of a more beginners oriented uh tutorial so anyone can really try this out and make a logo for their own project we have a new year sale going on at gfxcomment.com link is down below if you use the code 2024 you will get 35 percent off any template of your choice so we have the vector icon pack we have the unlimited access pack right here that contains every single store item all right so i'm using photoshop if you don't have photoshop you could use something like a uh, photopea but we're just going to start with some basic text. So I'm going to go to the text tool and we're going to find a font of our choice right here. I don't have many fonts downloaded here that I can use. I'm just going to use this called Comet. So I'm going to type out, for example, um, what, uh, what kind of hypothetical game are we making here? Let's do sword. <laughs> And we're just going to enlarge the text. And we're just going to choose a basic color. I think I'm going to go for orange with this one. So something like this. We have our basic text. Now, if there are any icons you want to uh, use, go ahead and drop them in. Uh, I'm going into our vector icon pack. I am going to grab... Let's see, where is this at? I'm gonna grab a sword. Now obviously, uh, each logo is gonna have different icons and vectors. It's gonna vary uh, case by case for each logo. Right now, let's just focus on the text. Now we're gonna copy this layer. We're going to duplicate. Right click, duplicate layer. We're gonna hit okay. We're gonna right click and hit rasterize type and there are a couple of effects we could do so if you hit Control t in photoshop we could right click and hit warp up here go to warp and we could do arc for example uh you could do fish if this is you know what you want i'm just gonna go for arc i think this looks pretty good right there now we have some minor stylization on our text now create a new layer we're gonna right click and hit create clipping mask right here you're gonna take your brush tool you could take a look at my settings up here my hardness is at zero percent i'm just gonna do some shading change the color to white and also do some shading up here you can change the mode right here to overlay. We're gonna decrease the opacity. And now we have a nice soft gradient effect on our text. Let's go right click and hit blending options up here. We go for inner shadow. Let's do mode overlay. Let's take a look. And lower the opacity to 45. Okay, this looks fairly decent so far. Um, let's make a new layer. I'm gonna do the same thing with a clipping mask. I'm gonna use the color white. I'm just gonna highlight the middle part a little bit. Now you could also use the pencil with shape and fill. Turn the stroke off with the first option. And essentially, the idea is you could pen some cool shapes like this if you want. Take the eraser tool and just kind of adjust this. Now, to make the 3D effect, we're going to hold Alt, drag this uh, text down. This will make a copy. We're going to take this and let's go ahead. Let's hit control U, drop the lightness. So we get something like this. 
Okay, I'm gonna right click, hit copy layers out, take the FX, drag this to remove for now. And basically, we're gonna make a new layer, eyedropper, we're gonna grab this color, take our pencil, and we're just gonna zoom in and connect these points right here. So we're just going to go ahead and let's go over to the right side. All right, looks pretty good. Take all these layers and my whole shift and control E. Now go right click and at first we copied the layer cell. So now we're just going to hit paste. All right, nice. New layer, right click mask. And we're also going to shade this part a little bit. Oops, just something like this. Right mode, uh, overlay, drop the opacity. And now with our sword, we could plop this somewhere. Like right here. Copy and flip. We're gonna take this whole thing, right click, duplicate, group, hit okay. Control E to flatten. We're, at, we're gonna add a nice stroke here. 25, looks pretty good. And for the sword, we're also gonna add a stroke. I'm gonna modify this thing a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. This looks pretty good. Make this a little bigger. Sharpen. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys next time.